peace to the world. <laughs> He's prepping the Christmas village The village spot. is saying my Christmas village looks old lady. Is that an oxymoron? How? Well, Where's an oxymoron? Not an oxy. Well, okay, not an oxymoron. Is it a, what do they call it? Like the La Brea tar pits. Doesn't La Brea mean tar or tar pits? Um, does it? I think so. Let's find out. But my no, point is, the point is, is, are you saying it's, it's a, a Christmas village? You don't need to say it. Like, are you saying it's? Is it like redundant, or what is the word I we're thought, looking for? I guess oxymoron is like jumbo shrimp. It's the opposite. It's right? the opposite. So you're saying like they're the same thing. So, but there is a word for that that we are both blanking on. But we'll go with redundant. I don't think I'm blanking on it. I just don't think I know it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? Like, is it redundant? Because I don't know something. Because they mean the same thing. That's what's wrong with this world. Too many people pretending like they know things that they don't. Admit it. You don't know. But you know what I know? What do you know? Santa Claus is real. I. Wait, tell me. What? Uh, what does the. Brea me. Oh, I don't care about this right now. Why? What I care about... Brea, the TV show came up. What I care about is which building is going to be the first to get placed. Yeah, Brea is Spanish word for tar. So it's like tar, tar pits. What? The tar pits, the tar pits. I'm really... I know, you don't Glad care. that we cleared that up. Well, now you know something that you didn't. This is true. See, now you're not one of those people. I love our Christmas village. Our Christmas village was passed down to us by Matt's aunt. My great aunt. That means it's Crow's great, great aunt? Yeah. I feel like we have to start with the <gasps> town hall. St. Nicholas Town Hall. I love the steeple. It's not a steeple, it's not a church. Although we have a church over there in the corner. That's, what do you call that then? It's not a steeple, it's not a church. Listen, you don't even know what tar pits mean. This is our poinsettia from last Christmas. Yes, it's still alive. And I didn't buy another one because I thought it was going to turn red again, and I didn't. Are you a Christmas puppy dog? Are you a Christmas dog? He is. You are a Christmas dog. You're a December dog. Keep your mangy little nose off my ranger station. He is going to knock one of those off. We want to thank Warby Parker for sponsoring this video. Today we're gonna to talk a little bit about Warby Parker and I'm gonna try on my five pairs of glasses out of my home try-on kit. Matt's gonna man the camera and tell you a little bit about Warby Parker while I model these lenses. The first pair of glasses I'm gonna try on, York Polished Silver. Warby Parker is committed to providing exceptional vision care online and in stores, offering eyeglasses, sunglasses, eye exams, and contact lenses. And their glasses start at $95. That's including prescription lenses. Sunglasses, progressives, and blue light lenses are also available. The Stockton Whiskey Tortoise. And if you need help choosing frames, they make it super easy because you can take this quiz. And after a few short questions, they'll suggest some great looking glasses that are totally personalized to fit your face and style. Max. Warby Parker partners with nonprofits like Vision Spring to ensure that for every pair of glasses sold, a pair is distributed to someone in need. Raider Gold. Try Warby Parker's free home try on program. Order five pairs of glasses to try on home for free for five days. There's no obligation to buy. It ships free and includes a prepaid return shipping label. Try five pairs of glasses at home for free at warbyparker.com slash matt blue. Maybe a little more slang name. 
very serious in those Raider glasses. They're serious glass. Are they ready? This is badass stuff right here. It is. Are they ready? This is Indiana Jones. So tough. <laughs> Where do I get this? Oof, I don't know, but you kick at the lights. Oh, Ooh, you smash at the phrases. I sit here. This time of year it gets really hectic. Everyone gets really stressed out. You're trying to like check off your Christmas list. But I just think it's the like the 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 stress of the end of the year, the holidays. A lot of people have just split families and two sides to go to, so it's just a lot of juggling. That <laughs> pressure really weighs down the joy and the, the, the essence of what the holiday season is about. We've had some major things going on and I found myself getting caught up in all that. Tasks and being busy and... Yeah. And then I realized at some point, like, how many of those tasks really matter? We should be focusing on celebrating and joy and family. But there's a, like getting them done. It's a lot of work, but it is also a lot of joy. Making sure you're checking off your your gift, Christmas gift giving lists is, it's a lot of stress and work, but being able to give gifts is so fun. I enjoy giving gifts more than I enjoy receiving. Sharing your love and sharing some joy. Oh my gosh. And what a perfect way to actually talk about. We do an annual gift drive for kids in the foster system. And we work with our agency, Arizona's Children Association, to, uh, they help distribute the gifts to a lot of the families and kids that are in need. And it's super special and it brings a lot of joy to a lot of kids and it makes a huge difference in a lot of kids' lives. So, for those of you who have already participated, thank you, thank you, thank you, we love you. And those of you who have not yet, uh, you can look in our description down below and We'll have the address and all the details. You can participate in our gift drive and send a gift to a kid and make their Christmas. There are so many, so many kids in the foster system that don't have the family and the friends and the, the means to be able to give and receive gifts. So it is so important that we make these kids feel special. Your village is coming together quite splendidously. I wish you could see his face. Victory is ours! <laughs> Victory is brewing! I'm gonna get that nose! I'm gonna get that cute little nose! He's gonna knock that over. It'll be worth it because it's not out. Attention all parents. That's all you need. That is so annoying.